I was so scared of kids picking on me and everything. I just, and I, sometimes I just hid in the bathroom from them. I mean, we've so many schools and done so many different things to make going to school work and to go to school that could help me with all my needs and my disability. It would be amazing. And I was so happy that I got to go to Tonka Chi. I don't feel like I'm walking into a battle every time I go to school. Our governor had established a scholarship to help kids that have a disability to be able to go to a private school, to be able to get the education where they will have teachers that understand their disability. Yeah, I think that I'm actually learning things. Like when I was at Lewis and Clark, I just, I just couldn't learn anything. I just, and here I'm learning everything. I didn't quite understand because he was very good in math. His math, he was surpassing his mm -hmm. um, older sisters. But when it came to language, um, still I couldn't figure out why he didn't know all of his alphabets. And we tried every program that we could think of. And I kept beating myself up thinking, what am I doing wrong? Why am I not being able to teach this child the way I did my other kids? Generally, by the time they find us, their kids are very miserable. They have tried lots of different private options, or those who can afford it have. Those who can't afford it have continued to question the system. When we found out what, what his disability was and searched within the public system of possible help and found out that there was none, I asked myself, now, my tax dollars are going to the public school system, and but yet I can't find any help through the public school system. So what do we do, just say no? Well, no, we can't do that because we've seen such an improvement with our son in just two months. My heart goes out to families who have no options. Why don't we have options? How many young people like my son have been left out? Left out because the public school system cannot meet their needs. The realistic flow of money is that a tax base goes with those children, whether it goes to a charter school or a, um, a voucher system that allows those kids to come with the tax base so that um, these kinds of services can be provided to them. Research tells us that children who we raise to the national mean have an opportunity to tie sound to symbol and learn to read. Children who learn to read um, and do so by the end of first grade are very successful in school. Children who don't, we lose them completely out over time. Parents, it's really, it's really in your hands. It really is. And you're the ones who have to say, this is my kid and my kid needs to learn to read.